Okay. Good. Nothing scientific behind it. No crazy machines, just basic movements, barbells, dumbbells. That's it. Good having you back for the completion of our shoulder training session. Once again, you're looking at the last set of the incline smith presses. And from there, we're immediately jumping over into the side laterals with dumbbells. I'm also doing five sets here, 12 reps. But this time, since side raises are a little less oxygen demanding, I'm only going to do rest intervals of 20 breaths. So five sets, 20 breaths, using the 55 pound dumbbells. The last set is going to be a strip set. I'm completing my 12 reps, little bit of rest if I need to, little bit of cheating is allowed also, and I drop them, grab a pair of 35 pound dumbbells, and I'm going for 20 reps there. Also, I might cheat a little bit, or I might rest a little bit at the bottom, but I'm not going to let go of those dumbbells until I hit at least 20 reps. Personally, for my shoulders, I can say that over the years, I've gotten a lot more growth out of my shoulders by using less weight with a little higher reps, um, 12 and upwards, focusing more on the contraction, on the squeeze, on feeling the movement, and on creating as much of a burn and a pump as possible. I'm not going to say that heavy presses don't have their place and aren't effective, but if you ask me, I'd say that squeezing, contracting, burning, and pumping the shoulders is going to get you a lot more growth, like I said, than just simply pushing and slinging heavy weights around. From the dumbbell side raises, we are going to one arm cable side raises. I like this movement because it enables me to get a full range of motion even at the bottom of the movement, meaning when your arm is in front of your body. Here, once again, I'm doing five sets, five sets each arm that is of 12 reps, but I'm doing them in a continuous fashion, meaning I'm not taking any rest at all between sets. I'm doing 12 reps with one arm, 12 reps with the other arm, 12 reps with the starting arm again, and back and forth like that until I hit five sets of each arm, 12 reps. The important thing here is to keep your arm as straight as possible and make sure that you're not involving any tricep or traps into the movement. Just let your shoulder be the pivotal point and open and close your arm like a gate would open and close on a railroad crossing.
Rear delts, a trouble area for most people. Why is that? Well, going by what I see people do in the gym these days, most of them just use too heavy weights and therefore never really stimulate and isolate their rear delt properly. Think about the size of the muscle you're trying to stimulate here. That rear delt muscle is so small, you can't expect to lift any immense poundages with it. So again, just like on the cable side raises, focus on full range of motion, a good hard contraction up top, a good stretch if possible, go for reps and go for burn. That's what's going to get your rear delts to grow. That being said, I usually pick two exercises, my favorite being the hands-free lying rear delt machine, and I complement that with a second exercise, such as the rear delt cable flies, rear delt pec deck, or bent over dumbbell laterals. Both of them for three to five sets, 12 to 20 reps each, and I always make sure to complete each set with a couple partials to completely exhaust my rear delts. Last, you see me finishing off here with these 180 degree cable front raises. 180 degree, obviously, because of the range of motion I go through. Another five sets here, and these leave me with a great, thick, front to back satisfying pump. I hope you can take something away from this. I'm always open for constructive criticism in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.